Okay, get the vach, everybody. Get the vach. We're holding on the end of a sugya and then the beginning of a difficult parak. So easy and then hard. But you're all on your games, you're all on your vamas, you're doing good. Okay, we've been in a sugya of when a person testifies or does not does not do some allows a woman to remarry, there's a concern that he may have ulterior motives. So to go ahead and avoid any possibility of anyone saying anything, there's an Indian of what? Of, of haser mimcha, to remove from you ikish per uzus sfasayim, that anyone might go ahead and rumor about you. So such, if a, a, an example would be, if an aid brought a get from Medina's Hayam and said, since this aid is creating, freeing this woman, he can't marry her. If a, a husband it makes a neda that his wife should have enough from him, goes to a chacham to matter the neda, and the chacham doesn't, we have, and, and therefore she has to get divorced, the chacham cannot go ahead and marry her. So with that in mind, says the Mishnah on Chavav Amid Aleph, the Kulam and all of them, the chacham, the get, one who brought the get from Dina Sayam, Shahayolhem Nashim, if they were married at the time, Umesu, and their wives consequently died, they'd be permitted to marry to them. Since they were married at the time, right? And the assumption is that they're not going to take another wife. It wasn't common to take two wives. Again, I've spoken out many times. You think that every person had two wives. We spoke out from, we spoke out from uh, Boaz. When Boaz was in the, and, and, and Rus approached, the major said, she's, she's available and you're available. So the more wanted to, the, the, why does she have to be available? He didn't, what, good, she had to be available. Why did he have to be available? He could marry two wives. El see even even so, so much so, but made Boaz before David in the Yomim Hakad Moinim, it still wasn't common to have two wives. It's, it's a very interesting diak that uh, I forgot to say if I saw it in. Anyway, Lachalapachis. So therefore, if he's married, then we're not, we don't have a concern. So if the Chacham doesn't matter her, or the aide comes from Medina Sayam and matters her, in those two cases, if she ends up being free and available, he can marry her, provided that right, he was married at the time and his wife died. The Kulam Shenisu Lacherim, and let's say the Chacham matter them, they would then, when consequently married someone else, Vinishkashu Oynis Almanu, and then the somebody else either divorced her or died. So in between the heter of the aide, or in between the Chacham, not being mad to her, just being, making her usher and her husband, she now became under someone else's jurisdiction. Then when that chayish, afterwards, he would be able to marry her. So these are the loopholes to when the chacham or the eight could marry her. One, if he was married at the time, or two, if she ended up marrying somebody else between the, the first husband and the first husband and the, and the, the eight or the, or the dayan, or the, or the chacham. Then, mutar sinasilahem. And all of them would be muta. These women, once they're freed, would be muta to marry the son or the brother of the dayan, or the son or the brother of the of the of the aid. Good guys. Now, first thing, mesoi mashma only if the wife died in. Then he can go ahead and want and marry her. But niskar shuloi. In other words, you have a chacham. He doesn't matter her. She's now available. He's married, and the wife dies. He can marry her. The diak was mesu. What about this garshu? Mashmanat, because what the suspicion would be, he's forcing the issue, right? He has his eyes on this woman. Therefore, he's divorcing his wife in order to. If it's minashamayim, that why he was made available with her death, then obviously he didn't have. You know, there's no reason to think that he had eyes on the woman. But if as a result of him not mattering her, and she gets divorced from her husband, and now he's available because he divorced her, and then not, says the Gemara. Rav Hillel Rav Ashi, but Tanya, I feel in the Skarshu, even the Skarshu, he could marry her. So you have conflicting opinions. Our Mishnah says only Mesu. We have another Abraissa saying the Skarshu. Says the Gemara, not a problem. Like Hasha, Hoda Havi Katata, Hodula Havi Katata. This is the way Rashi learns. If there was a fight between the husband the, the Dayan and his wife, well, let's, let's, let's stay with the Dayan. Then, then he could marry her. Then he could marry her because, again, obviously, there was, there was fighting before he had set his eyes on this woman. The get was as a result of that previous fight. In other words, he didn't come to pass in this case. 
but it's known in the town that there's a shalom bias problem between this Dayan and his wife. So that that he divorced the afterwards, not necessarily because why he saw this woman. They had problems, marital problems beforehand. But if there were no problems whatsoever, then he can't marry her. If that's our Mishnah. Then he can't marry her if he divorces her, because we can say it's his desire to marry this woman that he went ahead and divorced his wife in the first place. It's interesting. I did not learn that way. I thought if they had problems, this would just kind of be the, the short of both camels back. I got problems anyway. I'm not happy with my wife. And now I have an opportunity. So in fact, I found that opinion, the Yamshel Shlomo. The Masifta quoted the Sefer Yamshel Shlomo from Reb Shlomo Luria, a very famous Sefer, who said that, in fact, that is the Peshat over here. Okay, either way. Vibay Yisema, Hava Hava Leva Katala, another Teretz, possible Teretz, that they, there was no fighting. Ah, if there was no fighting, so what's the reason that why, that he, can't, he could marry her? Like Hasha, Hada Argil who, Hada Argil he. Okay, the question is, who caused the divorce? If he, there was no katata, then all of a sudden there is. Who forced it? He did. If he forced it, it must be as his eyes and the other woman. On the other hand, if his wife forced it, so consequently he would be able to marry the other woman because he wasn't what, the one that facilitated the, the divorce. She did. So if he, he facilitates the divorce, then he can't marry her. That's, that's, our, mish, that's, our, that's our Mishnah. And uh, no, that's the, yeah, that, that's uh, our Mishnah. It says that one is Gar Shuloi. On the other hand, if she facilitates it right then one, he would be able to. That would be the Baisa. I feel in the Skarshu, he would be able to marry her if, if the woman facilitated the divorce by causing the fight. Now, the Kulan Shinisu, we said if they marry somebody, right, they marry somebody, then what? Then, then Mutarsu Nasibahem. Now, this is the, we had a Mishnah before, guys. We had a, an earlier Mishnah, the Mishnah on. Daf Chof Hei. Let's go back to Daf Chof Hei for a second. I may be getting Medina Sayyam, but I'm funny, 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 when it says over here in our Mishnah that Kulam Shemesu, that they died, right, then you would be able to marry. So if a guy came from overseas and he said that, that what, that your husband died, she marries somebody and, and she marries somebody else, and now her husband dies. So how many, how many husbands died? Two. The one that he testified on, and based upon the testimony, she remarried somebody else, and now Mesu, he's dying. Good. Then he could marry her. We have a sugya arucha, very famous sugya, guys. Is the chazaka after three, or is chazaka on the fourth time, on the third time? In other words, three or four is it after after three times on the fourth time, or is it what three times? There is an opinion, however, by Misa. Everyone agrees it's after mechayish for the third time. In other words, even after two times, we're going to go ahead and say. The third time, you can't do it because we're going to worry that this woman might be what's called a black widow in English. In Lashen Kodesh, they called a katlonis. That this woman, anyone married to her, dies. It doesn't necessarily mean that you know she's feeding them arsenic on a double indemnity policy. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that. It means that they die. So it, we want to go ahead and be medayik that this Mishnah is not like Rebbe because we're allowing her to marry the third time again. The case of Mace in our Mishnah parallels the case in the previous Mishnah. So when the aid said dies, in that case, if she re our Mishnah now, the Kulam She Mesu, meaning she married someone else and he died, then the aid will be able to marry her. So she's getting married for a third time. So the Gemara is going to say, no, the case of Mace is not going back on that case. It's going back on the case of Gerishin, says the Gemara. The case over here where she's saying she died is going back on the case, the previous case where the eight said the first husband died. The Gerishin a Gerishin. Now, let's see a Mishnah that's allowing a third marriage is not like Rebbe. The Ikarebi, Hamar, could betray Zimni, have a Chazaka. If the two times it's a Chazaka, Rebbe says twice, you know, will be Chayish for Misa. I'll give you guys a good, a good, uh, let's get in the Gemara. 
So as we know, Misa are Gerishim, Gerishim are Misa, we're, cross, we're crossing over, right? The case of Misa is after she was divorced, so she didn't, in other words, the testified that the husband, the, the A testifies in front of On that case, we're going to the case of, of Mace. So she was divorced from the first, first husband, and Almana for the second. So he can marry her because it's only the second marriage, but it's not. So therefore, it doesn't have any a bearing whatsoever on the Machloikas between Rebbe and Mushim Gamliel. I'll give you an example of Chayesh for Misa. Throughout Shas, throughout Shas, the Gemara says oral. If the ch- a person is an oral, an uncircumcised person, how do you get to be uncircumcised? There's halachas. Says the Gemara, Rashi holds that what? Two sons died as a result. He had two previous brothers that died as a result of the Mila. They were hemophiliacs and they bled out. So we'll be chayish for the third one. In other words, when it comes to Misa, we won't say it's a chazaka after three times. We'll say it's a chazaka, we'll be chayish for the third time. That's Rebbe Shita in an application form. Over here also, we'd say we're chayish for the third time. But in fact, there is no third time. Why? Because it's going. the Misa is going back in the case of Gerishin. So she was only, in fact, right, a widow once. She was a divorcee once, a widow once, and then married a third time. We're good? Okay, Baruch Hashem. It doesn't mean that, that the, the chazaka is after two. It means that the chazaka attack at three. We won't let her do th- Three, we won't do the, the we won't mal the third child because we're worried. Again, again, we're chayish for it's maybe semantics. We're chayish for the third time. We'll say the Indian Misa Chazaka is established after two that we won't let you do three. Your mind saying Chazaka automatically is three, it's not true. We're saying over here, look at the Lashon of the Gemara. Hama Trezimni Havi Chazaka. What's the Lashon of the Chayim? The Indian Kuach Nefesh will say two times is Chazaka. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I, was thinking, I was thinking three is still a you Chazaka. Were thinking three. I know what you were thinking. I know yeah. what you were thinking. You were thinking the classic three, right? Okay. The, you were thinking the hat trick. Now, says the Gemara, the Kulu Mutares Levneim Elachayim was a little on the Shigemara. The Muta to go ahead and marry the Dayan's son or brother. Now, there is another case that is, we don't let them get married. Again, the Tanya, we're going to see this later on in the Masechta. If there is a rumor about a man and a woman, he won't be able to marry her relatives. He won't be able to marry her relatives. Why? Because with Chaya, she's marrying just to be in close proximity with these other people so he can possibly do something illicit. Again, if there's a rumor about this individual, we won't let him marry the female Kroivim because we're worried that what? Okay. Conversely, over here we're saying he, he let his, this woman marry a son or a brother. And we're not worried of him being around them. is going to be around. We're not worried about, why not? Why are we not worried over here, yet we're all worried over there? My Shlomi Nan. Anita Isha Asa Biima Ubabita Ubachas Achaisa says Gemara Nash Nashabi Nashe Shrichen the women to women go. The Aslan. Gavri Lagabi Gavri Lai Shrichen. They 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 don't go to each other. So the Mitsias is that the hot fought this guy, if he's not gonna go to see his brother, he's not gonna be he's not gonna be around his brother all the time, he's not gonna be around his son all the time. So therefore, we, we're not chayish for what for him being with this woman that he freed up. Conversely, by women, that women are together. So therefore, if, if, if a man marries a woman, the, she's around the mother, she's around the sister, so on and so on forth. And therefore, since it's going to give more amp, uh, ample opportunity for of something happening that shouldn't be happening. Man to man, so it's a factual thing. Man to man, they're not going to be around each other. Therefore, by our Mishnah, we're not Chayish, and he could marry the son, could marry the brother. By Shane came by the Isha, we can't. That's one teretz. Another teretz. Now, if, if the man is with a particular woman, if the, in, in a case of women, when you have this guy, if this guy is with the mother, it's not going to usher on, on her. The guy is, he, he, he has... He's, he li- he's living with this woman, right? And he's married to the mother. 
And what we worried about is the following. Since if he's with the mother, it's not going to ask him on his wife, they're going to cover it up. So therefore, we won't let him do it. Masha'en Cain, if this man marries, if this woman goes to the brother or the son, and she, and if this, the Dayan will be with the woman, or the aide will be with the woman, it's going to ask the woman on them. So they're going to be Makbid, and therefore we're not worried that anything's going to happen. And it was what are we worried about? They're worried about an illicit, an illicit, an illicit relation between what? Between the, the, the one that previously you had a, a, a rumor on, with the aide being with the woman that got divorced, or the dying that facilitated the divorce, right? That's what you're worried about. So we said when it comes to their, their children, you're not worried, simply because, in fact, if something happened, it's going to end their relationship, because this woman will not be able to live with them anymore. So therefore, the son will be very wary of what? Of the father. The brother would be very wary of his brother. And uh, the son will be very wary to die in whatever the situation is. Therefore, we're not worried. My shame came by women. By women, we are worried. Why are we worried about that? They'll let it go. So therefore, we won't let them be together because they'll let it go. That's another terror. It's the difference between the two cases. Let's see the Lashon again. Inami. And therefore, they're going to let it go. Gavri, the Osman Shri, Vasana Dadi, that if anyone's with the, the, the woman, it's going to ask them each other, Kapia Dadi, very Makbid, and therefore they'll be very diligent, and therefore we're not worried. Ihachi Ovif Nami says the Gemara, so why do we just limit it to what? To son and brother. Why don't we include father? He says, Gemara, let me buy you, you don't need to tell me. Let me buy you, Ovif, the Bazamine, the son is in order, the father. He's scared of the father. And he won't think of doing something that is what? That will go ahead and you know, be, the father would not be happy with. I will be annoyed. Lay buzzes of me nay, but the the son that the father is not mevaza. A meloy kamash melon that what? Not that you're not worried. How do you look at kaitz that eshes aviv? How do you look at kaitz that aviv? How do you look at kaitz aviv? Okay, guys, back to our back to the regularly scheduled program, as they say. Back to heavy duty yivamis. Heavy heavy duty yivamis. Okay, let's see. Let's just. There's a lot of pictures. Let's give the basic things. We've seen these pictures before. Let's see if you got it in your mind. Four brothers. Two of them married to two sisters. The two married to two sisters die. You have now these two left. We said that yes, Zika, there's Zika. Each one of these is falling to each one of these. So each one is called Achos Zuku Kaso, the sister of his Zakik, and therefore what? They have to give Chalitza. They cannot do Yibam. Guys, that place is clear, right? That is like we... This is Aleph Bay. This, this is Yvamis 101. This is Aleph Bay. We know, we know this, right? This is, this is clear. Another thing we know, that if one of these sisters was an Erva, then the one that it would be able to do Yibam to the other one, because again, there's no Zika. Let's say, again, let's say there are two sisters and there's four brothers. They two die. And it happens to be that one of these is married to one of these daughters. So this is a mother-in-law. So the one that's the mother-in-law, he'd be able to go ahead and do yib mechalitza to the other one because there's no achos kukaso over there, right? Because again, there's, there's yivam, there's an issa. Mashenke, the other brother would be achos kukaso. These are things we're familiar with. What happens if they're both ervis to both of them? In other words, each one will be able to do yibim to the other, right? Because again, it's, once you take off the zika, the rule of thumb is you could do yibim. Let's see the Mishnah. I think, I can, guys, I think you'll get it by now. One, the one not, nice thing about Yavam is, despite its difficulty, is the, the repetitive, re, repetition of many, many cases that we're, we're used to. So, Arba Achin, if anyone does not know at any time, please feel free to, to raise your hand and I'll, I'll do the pictures inside. I'm just doing this for, for a flow. Arba Achin, Shnai Mehen Nesum Four brothers, Ruben Shimon Levi Yehuda, they're both married to two sisters, of uh, Hannah and Penina, who may say, Nesum Esachoyes, Ruben and Shimon die. Levi and Yehuda give Yibam to Chalitza to what? Both. Why? Because it's Achos, it's Kukaso. And if they both do Yibam, they, they leave. You can't keep them together because it's similar to Achas Ishto. Guys, even though it's similar to Achas Ishto. Now, this again is the Raya that Yesh Zika because we're saying it's Achos, the Kukaso. Rabbi Eliezer, I met Beishami, Rabbi Yekai, and Beishami says they could stay together. Obviously, we're following the opinion of Beishelov. Again, the two brothers, two, the four brothers, two married to two sisters, and two of them died. The two sisters are falling in front of them. One of the sisters happens to be, right, happens to be an erva to what? To, 
happens to be an Arab to one of them. Let's say one of the other brothers, a Levi of Yehuda, was married to the mother of uh, was married to the mother of of uh, of Hannah. So in that case, it would be what it would be daughter-in-law. That, that is wife is his is wife's Peter, right? So therefore, what it can't work. Says Gemara that then therefore he could do even to the other one. So it says Gemara, Al Achas is erva asa ba he's asa ba to marry that one to Hana umuta ba chaysa and we'll be able to do even to what to, to Penina. Why there's no zika to to to, to, to Levi. There's no zika to Levi. It's the erva that stops the zika from taking place. The Hasheni, however, a Yehuda asa b'shteyem because it's achos kuka so to Yehuda. What do we do? We just we did a simple case. There, there, in, a, in a regular case, it's achas kukaso. All we're doing over here is we're creating an erva to one, thus removing the zika for that particular one that makes it muta to this one because there's no zika to this one. Conversely, the other one is not an erva. It's it's the same case as the first case. It's zika to both. And then there you go. Guys, you good? If it's an Issa Mitzvah, Issa Kedusha. I think I want to do this one inside because it, it, it's partial over here. Uh, page 158. 158. You start on, on a picture on the right side. Okay, you have Machla Noah. Rachel, Yaakov, and Yosef, right? Okay, so what's the relationship between Yosef and Machla? Machla is Yosef's what? Aim, right? Is an aim imoy. Guys, it's aim imoy. You see? So in the end, Machla is going to fall to Yosef. Machla is his grandmother. Rachel's the mother, and Machla is the grandmother. Okay? Then you go, you go across. To 134.2, Yaakov goes ahead, marries Rus, three brothers, we bring Shimon Levi. Look at the end product, what happens? So Machla, so you have Levi, Levi cannot go ahead, what? Levi and Yosef. So Yosef and Machla are what? Aim, that's an erva, good? So you would think that Yosef could be Miyabim Noah, right? Guys, you would think that Levi would be able to do Noah because Noah was a what? An erva. And the answer is, since it's not a deraisa dika erva, it's only a derabana dika erva, the zika, the, the erva is not strong enough to go ahead and remove the zika of achasukuka so, and therefore he has to give chalitza. So this is different than an erva deraisa. By an erva deraisa, like we said in the previous case, you would be able to do even to the other one. Over here, to the other one, they both have to give chalitza. It has the same din as a chos kukaso, because the erva of mitzvah, of, of, a, of an erva, of a shnia is not strong enough to take what? Off the yibam. I take off the zika to do yibam. Anyone? Are we good, guys? Are we, are we good? I, silence is golden. I, it's, it's always, it's always, I, I never know what's going on. Okay, let's, let's see it inside now. We did this already. Issa mitzvah, Issa kedusha, Issa mitzvah, Issa kedusha. Because it's still achos to kukas. So why the erva is not strong enough since it's not a derisa to erva. They're both aser isur erva to both. In other words, one to one and one to the other. So, for example, let's say. A Levi, Levi, uh, Ruben, Shimon, Levi, Yehuda, and falling in front of uh, of Levi is Shimon's uh, mother-in-law, and in front of uh, Yehuda is, is Ruben's mother-in-law, and therefore they they would be not. I, I said that wrong. <laughs> Shimon would be the mother-in-law. One of the girls is is uh, is Asa an Erva. She's the she she's Asa to Shimon, but she's Mutter to Levi and vice. To, Ruvay and Shimon, Levi Yehuda, good. Now, falling in front of Levi is one woman, two women. One of them is an erva, but it's good to the other. Falling in front of Yehuda, is, the other one is an erva, but it's good to the other. So each one does Yibam and, and, and not Chalitza. So 
This Ashni Yisrael, this Erev Asul, this Mitarzav, this Mitarzav. Then Zui Shomer, this is what we said before. A chayse shi yivimta oichaletzes ay misyabemes. A sister that's your yivama oichaletzes ay misyabemes. That was the lashon that we had a case earlier, where one of the yivama was asa to the brother al swad al siyibum. So the other one, right? Rashi says, "Achaysa al erev kshi yivimta." Aishas Aki Baila, Kishinaifla Imali Yibum, Aichalasla Misya Bemis. The Lava Khaisa Kukasla, there's no there's no Zika. Why? Because the Erva Lay Rami Kame, the one that's an Erva is not found in front of him. Okay, that's our Mishnah. Now, from the first case to the Mishnah, that the two brothers, Levi Yehuda, cannot go ahead and do Yibum to what to Chana and Panina, it must be because falling in front eat the Zika from both of them to each one. So each one is a stick like Achas Ishtai. Says no shmami no by the fact we guys we could say the following. Let's say there was no zika. Let's outside outside. Look at me. Let's look. There's no zika. So now you have four brothers, two sisters, two brothers that are dead. So why don't you say this one's falling in front of this one? This one's falling in this one. If there's no zika, then there's no isra on either either one, right? So apparently, so why does I wish to say you have to give chalitza? You're forced to say that the Isra is Achos Kuka so because there is Zika. The Gemara says there's another way. You could say still, you could still say Ain Zika and still have a problem. And this is something we discussed earlier in the Masechta. What happens if Shime, if Levi would do Yibam to Chana? And all of a sudden, all of a sudden Yehuda dies without doing anything to Penina. Now Levi has in front of him Achos Ishto, because he was Miyabim, he was Miyabim Chana. Again, ain't we say the following? I can show you, even though Ain Zika, we won't let you do Yibam. So you have the four brothers, the two sisters, two brothers married, the two sisters die. Ain Zika, you still can't do Yibam. Why? If this one does Yibam to this one, they're fully married. And before he got a chance, this one got a, this one got a chance to do Yibam, he dies. So now the only one who could do Yibam is this one to his sister, but he's married to the sister. So therefore we don't let you do Yibam, worried about the fact that what? Maybe you'll die and it'll be mevatal the mitzvah yama completely. By giving chalitza, we're guaranteed that something is done to each one of the Yibam is chan and Pnina. If one does Yibam, maybe you'll be chayish the misa for the other one. And if the other one dies, then what? It's achas ishto. So to avoid that, we do chalitza to both. That was... Why would you be Yichoshu on a, on a, on a it's Lav Shechicha. It's right. not usual that would happen. Why you... Uh, you see, for Misa, for one, you are, you are Shechicha. Misa for Misa, for Shechicha is one, you are, you are Shechicha. You are, you, are, you are Shechicha. We saw that, we saw an opinion like that in the first Mishnah in Yuma, that we go ahead and attack in another Kohen Gadol, according to Yehuda. So again, if I have, if I have a way to go ahead... Harold, I think you asked this the first time around also, if I'm not, if I'm not, not, not wrong correctly. But here's the way I answered you the first time. I'll answer you the same way again. If I can go ahead and without a shadow of a doubt ensure that something's done to two women rather than leaving it up for chance, if I do even to one, despite the remote chance that before the other one does, other brother does Yibam, he's going to be alive, there still is a chance that what? That if he's dead, we do nothing to the other one. By doing chalitza to both, what are we ensuring? So therefore, that would avoid the problem. The Gemara is going to address it. What about another brother? We'll see it in a second. Shmami no guys yesh zika. The i ain't zika michti. Hani mitre bati kasi. These are coming from two separate houses. They're not coming from the same house. One's coming from Ruvain. One's coming from Shimon. Ha'ali abim chada. Let levi bim abim one. Let Ruvain be, let, let Yehuda be miyabim one. And when it says, I'll tell you, ain't zika. Ain't zika. Now, if there's ain't zika, so why can't they both do yibum? When we show them the kusavar, also the vatal mitzvah yibamim. It's an also to vatal the mitzvah of yibum. Now, how would that happen? Dilma ad miyabim chad, before the, what? This one does yibum. Before, right? He gets to do the yibum. Maya still died. Mace idach. Right, he won't. He, he won't be able to be achas ishto. He won't be able to do it. So therefore, he hachi fred the gemara. Why do you learn two brothers till tsunami? You could have learned it if it's not zika, guys. If it's not zika, tell me 
three brothers. Why? Watch. If you have, if you have three brothers and two women, and the two brothers die falling in front of one of them, ain't Zika be miyabim one, be miyabim one. Let's see, let's see Rashi in this. Till tsunami, four lines up. If it's not Zika, why are you in four brothers? If you'll tell me, yes, Zika, Ashmeina Ravusa, the Afa Gav, the Trey, Achi, and even though there's two brothers, that it's not strong enough to Zika to do Yibam, the Matsin Lamema, he Rami Kame, Vachosa Kame Achi, Vafilochi Asa, the Kolshakin Shlaisha Achin. Two falling in front of one brother, for sure the Zika is stronger. The bottom line. If it's only because Bittel Mitzvah Yivam that you're worried about, because ain't Zika, I feel it till tsunami, you could have told me the Kiddush with three brothers. The one that were married to the two sisters die. They both get Chalitza. If you're going to be miyabim one, the other one will go free. Guys, what happens if you do even to one, you can't do anything to the other. It's, it's right. It's, it's, it's an erva. It's achas ishtay. So you'd hear the same din. Guys, if the whole chiddush of the mission is to tell me that, that, that you're worried about mivatla mitzvah yivamim, you could have told me that chiddush with three people. What's the chiddush? Watch. Watch the chiddush three people. Three brothers married to two sisters. These two die. This dies now. Falling in front of the 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 brother is two women who are sisters, and we told Ain Zika, so he should have stand still. Go ahead, be, go ahead, do even to one. But what happens if he does even to one? What's going to happen to the other one? The other one goes free without anything, right? She, it's not a tsara. It's not a tsara serva. She's coming from another brother. So if you want to just tell me the din of Mimivatl Mrs. Yavon, and that's what you're worried about, don't go ahead and tell me four brothers. Tell me three. And I would hear, you have to do Chalitza to this one, because if you do Yim to this one, you won't be able to do anything over here. Ella, when you didn't tell me that, it must be Yesika. When you told me four brothers, it must be Yesika. One more time. There's two ways to make that you do Chalitza, not Yim on these two women. One yei zika and achos kukaso, and that you'd hear from four brothers and only four brothers, a big chiddush of four brothers. Or you could tell me the reason why you don't do yim to uh, yim to them is a chashad that maybe if I do yim to one, you'll die before and, and go free without anything. Fred the Gemara, if you if that's the chashad, you don't need four brothers, three brothers will do the job. Two die, you're left with one. If he does yim to this one, this one can't go free because it's achos ishtoi, right? Eloma, when you didn't tell me that case. It must be when you told me the case of four brothers, it must be Zika the problem and not that. This is okay. Says the Gemara inside. Ihachi, Ihachi, if the whole Kashad is being vatal, this is Yavamim, Loimi boy, not Tilsa Nami, and for the Gemara, Loimi boy, Kermina, Loimi boy, Tilsa, the Vada, but Mrs. Yavamim, you don't need to tell me what. Three, where Vada is being Matsa, Mrs. Yavamim, because if he does even to one, the other one's also as Achas Ishtoi. I might think like Harold John Kellowitz. If you do four, that what? You're not Chayish Lamisa, and you should be able to do what? Both. Guys, if it's four brothers and, and you end up with two, if one does even to one and you're not Chayish Lamisa, it's great. It's not Achas Ishto, because it's another brother marrying it, right? And so therefore, I would think it's Kamash Mon, you're Chayish Lamisa. Oh, Fred Gemara, if you're Chayish Lamisa, then tell me a bigger Kiddush. Why do you limit it to four brothers, even five brothers? And then, and then what? You worry that what? That two will die. Says the Gemara, Lemisa to trailer Hashina. We're not Chayish for what? For, we're not Chayish for, for two. One will be Chayish for two, won't be Chayish for. Okay, so let's go over what we said so far. Why can't he do, why, why can't he do Chalitza to the first one? He's got the two. We keep saying, you're, 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 who, are you, who are you talking about? How many the, brothers? Two Achis. You, you have three brothers. Right, so do chalitza. You do do chalitza. You do chalitza to the first one, and the second one, since it's not an error, why can't he? They can't, can't do the one brother can't do it because it's achos achos zuku uh, chalitza so. And the other one does. Okay, that's the one. Okay, good. Now says the Gemara. 
Okay, so I was just gonna just gonna reiterate again one more time. Four brothers, two girls, sisters, two brothers, two sisters. Yei Zika. We're holding Yei Zika. It's a Zika Dikadin. There's another way to learn that why it's a it's a problem out of of uh, that maybe maybe perhaps you'll be mad from it's Yevamim. But right now we're going with the so Yei Zika, the concept of Achos the Kuka So, which plays a pr- primary role in this parak. Says the Gemara. Amar Rav Rav Huna Amar Rav. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Shlei Shachoyos. We have three sisters. Shenaflu. Shenaf. Shlei Shachoyos. Yivim. Imam Tei Shenaf Leish Dei Achim. Okay, guys. Page one fifty nine. You got three sisters. They they remain nameless. Okay, nameless. And you got how many brothers? You got five brothers. Two of the brothers are married to the women. They die. And now you have them falling in front, the three, right? You have the three sisters falling in front of two brothers. Three women falling in front of Shimon and Reuven. Good. What's the din here, guys? Listen, look at the din. Reuven does chalitza to one. Shimon does chalitza to the other. And they both do chalitza to the remaining one. It's a lot of shoes, huh? <laughs> it's a lot of shoes. Okay, guys, one more time. So you have two girls and three, three bro- and three Yavam. And uh, excuse me, the opposite. You have three girls and you got two Yavam. And they're all falling in front. What do you do? One gives to one, one gives to the other, and then they both give to the middle. How, how does that work? How does that work? Let's see. Amar Rav Rav Huna, Amar Rav. Shalish achayis yivam yishnaf le'yachin. Yivam. Zeh chaylis le'achas, zeh chaylis le'achas. Vem tsoyis. Slav dafka in the middle one. It doesn't mean middle. It means, you know, the third one. Vem tsoyis tricha chalitza mishneyem. Amar le'i Rav. Now. Midika amin em tsoyis tricha chalitza mishneyem. Kusaba yei sika. Now you hold yei sika. Let's go through it. Guys, yay seeker. So once you say yay seeker, what's out? What's off the table? What's off the table? Yibum is off the table, right? Once you hold, once you say the word zika comes in and sister, what does it create? Achosa kukaso, off the table. So watch. Ruven goes ahead and he and he goes ahead and gives to one. She's free. Shimon gives to the other, she's free. Good. Reuven and Shimon now have to give to the third one. Question, why can't one of them give to the third one? The Shiloh is, why do both have to give to the third one? Good. Now, is it possible, once you took the Zika off, is it possible to do Yibam to the middle one? Nope. Why? Because she's Achos Kukaso. So since she is Achos Chalutza So, it's an Achos of the Chalitza. Now, these guys, right? Their chalitza is a shvacha chalitza because since they already gave to the two sisters, right? The electric. Remember, we spoke of zika being electrical, so the electrical current over here is it's 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 so strong to the extent that whatever koyek they have to remove it, they can't remove it. They can't stop the current alone. So therefore, they need what? They need the they need to both do it. Let's let's see the lashon inside, and then we'll see Rashi. We'll see. It's very nice, guys. So again, case, three sisters, two brothers. Each one gives to one, one gives to the other, and they both give to the, la- the latter one. Now, obviously what? She's still connected to both. It's a chalitza psula, why? Because they're both achas, she's achas chalitza so. The chalitza psula tzorch lachsa kola achen. Chalitza, you have to go back to all the brothers. Let's see Rashi in this, guys. The Chalitza Pesula, Tzri Chalachza. Why is it Chalitza Pesula? What's this? This is the first time we've seen, in, in, we've encountered this Lashen of Chalitza Pesula. We haven't encountered it yet. Kloimar. When the third sister requires Chalitza from both of them, Kasavis, Alima Mitzvah Zika, Yavamin, the strength of the current of the Yavamin, Lemarmi Atshavayu, to put this woman on, the, on them. The chalitza on the last woman is a chalitza b'sula. Kloimar, geruah. It's shvach. Why? 
If you want to do Yibam, you can't. Why? It's not a Chalitza Ma'alyasa. It's not a quality Chalitza. Why? The Zika, the connection to the dead brother, is not strong enough to be taken up with one. Because the Zika is in front of both of them. Okay? So that's the Svara of a Chalitza Psula. When you come first initially, you have Kaya, you, you, but here, since it's Achos Chalitza So, therefore, why? It's a Shvacha Chalitza. The, the, two, the two initial ones was an achos chalitza, so not the first one, not the second. However, since both brothers did chalitza to two of the previous sisters, when it comes to the third sister, the third sister is achos is a, uh, chalitza, so therefore it creates what's calling what a chalitza garua, according to the Gemara, chalitza pisula. Therefore, you need both of them. Fred Gemara Kasha, Ihachi, Kamaisanami, right? Kamaisanami, the first one as well, right? Since you can't. You're telling me I can't do Yibam, right? What makes it a Shvacha Chalitza? Because I can't do Yibam. Could they have been Miyab in the first one? Achas Sukukaso. Could this be Miyab in the second one? Achos Sukukaso. So why didn't you require Chalitza from both on the first two women? One more time. The rule of thumb here is since they can't be Miyab in the third one because it's Achos Chalitza so, then they should not be able to miyabing the first two because it's achos so kukaso. Great. So yibim's off the chart. If your rule of thumb is once yibim's off the chart, you need chalitza from both, why did the first two women get off the hook with chalitza from two separate brothers? Each brother should have to do one, each brother should have to do two, and each brother should have to do three, rather than one doing one, one doing the other, and the other one's doing what? That's the kasha. It's a great kasha. It's a great kasha. It all fits. It's a great kasha. And for the Gemara, listen. It's a great teretz. Listen to this teretz. Lom the Gemara. Yehachi, if so, that if you can't do yibum, which makes it a shvacha chalitza, kamaisa nami should require chalitza from both brothers. And for the Gemara, eat enough of vasachas, if they fell simultaneously, hachanami, you'd be correct. But let tzricha denipel bezu achazu. They fell one after the other. So, Ruvain dies. This woman is open. You could do even, couldn't you? Nope. Guys, Ruvain dies. One brother, one woman is falling in front of two brothers. One of three sisters is falling in front of two brothers. There's, not, there's no reason you can't do even, right? So what happens? You do Chalitza. Nafl Chada, Chalitzla, okay? And you do Chalitza, Good, right? So therefore, they fell one after the other. Chalitzla, Ruvain. Oh, one second. They fell one after the other. Nafla Chada Chalitz La Ruvain. Nafla Ida Chalitz La Shimon. Nafla Ida, the third one, Chalitz La Hai Pakazi Kaso. Chalitz La Hai Pakazi Kaso. So, guys, watch. I don't even have to watch. Page 160. Page 160. They all die simultaneously, right? Levi, Yisacha, Yehuda die simultaneously. And the reason why we're giving Shim, Reuben and Shimon, because the Gemara gave Reuben and Shimon. That's why he's changing gears. A diak in the Sefer, right? All of a sudden, Reuben and Shimon are alive. Right? You understand? Because the Gemara is going to be in Reuben and Shimon, right? So now, if they all die simultaneously, you're right. The Zika of all of them was to all Reuben and Shimon. So therefore, Reuben and Shimon would have to give chalitza to all of them, guys. They have to, you got that? If you felt, that's not the case. The case is page 161. So, Levi dies. So, anyone can marry Levi now. Every, it's a mitzvah now, right? Can, you can marry her. It's not a problem. The ones who are married to the, the ones who are married to the sister can't, but the ones not married to the sister could. Guys, we have, Three girls and five brothers. We got two brothers that are available. Two brothers, Ruvain and, and Chada, there's no relationship except she's a Yavama. You see it clearly. So he gives a Chalitza. I mean, he could marry her, but he gives a Chalitza. Next. 
The other one dies. Idach dies. Shimon gives chalitza. And now when the third one dies, she's falling in front of both of them. It's achas chalitza so. Therefore, they both have to give chalitza. That's why that's the case. That's the case. Now, Fred the Gemara, who said this? Says the Gemara, go back. The, the Amar Abba Rav Huna Amar Rav. Second line from the top, guys. Amar Abba Yudah Amar Rav. Now, what's this whole case predicated upon? The concept of Zika, correct? Let me take you back in time. A man, a man has a woman fall to him, doesn't do anything, and then the woman dies. Can he marry the mother? Miriam is the Yavama to Ruvain. Miriam dies before Ruvain does anything. Can Ruvain marry Yocheved, the mother of Miriam? Said Rav, Ein Zika, you could marry her. Shmuel is the one who said, Ye Zika. Rav said, Ein Zika. Fred the Gemara Kasha, you just had a big sugya. Rav said, Ein Zika. Now you tell me Rav says, Ye Zika. This whole Gemara is predicated upon Zika, guys. Right? So, as I Fred the Gemara, Fred the Gemara, Rav, Ein Zika. And for the Gemara, Ladivrei HaOimer, Ye Zika, Kamar. Rav was saying it to the one who holds, Ye Zika. This whole case that Rav said, is according to my name, Mr. Yesika. But according to me, it will now be like this. Okay, tomorrow, we'll see what Shmuel holds. I hope, I think, hopefully, tomorrow, tomorrow is very difficult. I'm hopefully going to say in the morning at some time. Uh, I had a chance to look it over today. Hopefully, in the morning, probably 9 15, 9 30 ish, okay? Probably 9 15, 9 30 ish. Okay, have a great evening.